What's up everybody, this is the Classic Tycoon um, here, and today I just wanted to create a pretty short kind of a tutorial video on how to convert park scenarios um, or saved parks that you already have into new park scenarios or even existing landscapes from the park into park scenarios. So you're going to go into your park scenario editor here and everything looks the same. But what you're going to do is you're going to hit the pause button in the bottom right, go to load, not options, go to load, and you have the top the options at the top here. You've got import um, landscape from saved park, import landscape from park scenario, and convert saved park to scenario. So I'm going to show you what all these do here. If you import landscape from um, saved park, sorry, we're just going to I was kind of looking through here um, to see what everything does, but I'll, I do want to start with import landscape from Save Park, and we're just going to go ahead and pick one here. Why don't we do the Leafy Lake Let's Play down there, and so this is a park that I did a Let's Play through. And what it's going to do is it basically loads up everything as if you didn't have any rides, but it it keeps all of the scenery that you added. Um, it keeps all of the pathways that you added um, to any of your saved parks. So not really sure what the use of this is, but... Um, if that's something that you have a use for, that could be pretty cool if you really, um, you know, build something around that. Import landscape from park scenario. This has all the park scenarios in the game. For example, we have the Six Flags Magic Mountain. And this is kind of cool. You can import that. And it's got all of the landscape from Six Flags Magic Mountain. But it doesn't have any of the rides in there. So, I mean, that's a pretty cool option, and you can do that from any of the parks in the whole game. So you could go in there, um, build all new rides, build your own rides, and still have all the same landscape and all the same, you know, the, the designs that are in there, scenery and things like that. And then you just edit um, all of the scenario things. Now, convert save park to scenario. Let's go ahead and do the Leafy Lake Let's Play for this. And this is kind of one of the cooler ones, I think. Or not Leafy Lake. We'll do the Forest Frontiers one. And so this is the very first Let's Play that I did. Um, you can see it It allows you to make um, a new objective and a new park scenario with a pre-built park. So like this, this it has the number of guests by a given date, um, which is the original Forest Frontiers goal. But you can change this to just a total number of guests in park or whatever you want it to be and then make it more difficult. You can change the climate here to whatever you want, cold, cool, and wet, whatever. You can change the park name if you want to. You can change the scenario name if you want to. Um, the scenario group, that's where this park's going to show up at the load screen when you want to start a new park. And then even the park details here, if you want to add some, you know, some objective or guidelines to, you know, whoever's going to be playing this park. Okay. So after you do that, you would just go over to save scenario. I'm not going to do this right now. Um, I might do it at a later date and do a let's play of something, who knows. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough of that. And what you would do after you save it is you just go to the front screen here. You would go to start new park. Um, and then usually you put it in other parks, right? So you go to more park scenarios. And it would show up under other parks. So hopefully that, guys, that helped you out, guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions about that, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. If it helped you out, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later.